Hello. As I presume you know from Connor's video yesterday, TV week, I'm going to be saying my three favourite TV programmes, starting with the third, then the second, then the first. I'm not going to be doing impersonations of them, because I'd probably do a horrible job, and I'd rather just talk about them. Anyway, to the TV's programmes. To the TV's! To the TV's! To the TV programmes. Coming up at number three on my list is the TV programme Merlin, made by the BBC. Now I know a lot of people don't like Merlin just because it doesn't depict Merlin as the normal old man wizard who finds King Arthur at a young age and then helps him with his quests or whatever. It depicts Merlin as like a friend, a servant of Arthur, Prince Arthur, and he's about mid, early to mid twenties, so he's quite young. I mean like a lot younger than like the long bearded normal Merlin. But because of this view, I really like it. I like different views of old programs or books or whatever because it makes them more interesting. You might be able to guess some of my other programs just from that. The storyline is very solid, but of course there are some episodes which are a bit naff, as with every TV program ever. And some of the characters you can really get to know. I find it's really enjoyable. Coming up at number two is the BBC Sherlock. Ah, oh, another BBC program. They're all BBC programs, deal with it, and British. The Sherlock, like Merlin, it's a different view because it's a modern day Sherlock Holmes and a modern day Dr. Watson. It's like Watson's been, he was a medic in the war. Sherlock's a bit of a loony, more of a loony than I think he really is in the books, but in the books he's quite loony as well. The episodes of Sherlock are one and a half hours each, so you've really got to sit down and pay attention and watch it, but they're bloody brilliant, just to put it honestly. My least favourite of the episodes was the Hounds of Bastogil one, which was the second series and second episode. Because all of the episodes, you can kind of watch and kind of guess. It's kind of like a, kind of like a murder mystery programme in that kind of sense. You can guess what's going on. But I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending is kind of thrown at you right at the end. And then you kind of sit there like, oh, OK, maybe that was right. But it, you can never hint. It was never hinted. Unfortunately, they only make three episodes a year. And they've only made two series, so I know it's good, because I only just finished the second series, but really, you only get three episodes, and you've got to wait another year for the rest. And coming in at number one, number one, not using my middle finger, because that's rude, is Doctor Who. Doctor Who. You might have noticed my Doctor Who posters. So I'm a Doctor Who fan. I wouldn't say I'm a Whovian, because I haven't seen the really old episodes, because I've never got around. I don't have the time, personally. But I've seen all every episode since Christopher Eccleston started, which was kind of my generation's version of Doctor Who. And it's just amazing. It's amazing. That's all I can say about it, really. And once again, like the others, there are episodes I don't like. The one with the bee, or the wasp, which killed someone with like a tyrine or something. That was stupid. Don't know why they did that. The Christmas one last year, which was like the parody of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe was horrible. I really hope the series, which starts next Saturday, so this Saturday, is going to make up for that. I hope they're not going bad. On terms of Doctors, I can't really compare Matt Smith and David Tennant, because I like them both. I mean, David Tennant was like, more of a kind of control, like you knew his doctor kind of realised what the plan was and then like at the end he was quite cocky because he was like, eh, I got the plan, I knew I was controlling everything. But Matt Smith was a lot more spontaneous and confused. And I kind of like that having a protagonist which doesn't know what he's doing all the time. But then again, I like David Tennant's doctor because I like the protagonist because him being the doctor, the doctor's smart enough to know what's going on all the time. So they kind of just fit together really well. Companion-wise, I didn't like Donna. I'm probably going to hurt people there. I just didn't feel like they needed a very comedic role. That's what she was. She was a very comedic role and it didn't really fit. The serious moments when she had to be serious, I couldn't take her seriously because she was comedic all the time. At the same time, I think Amy and Rory have lasted too long. They kind of have to end soon because I felt that their story arc had finished after the first series of them being in. But then they got another series. So I, I don't know what else they can do with them. Sorry if mine was a bit obvious and predictable. But because everyone likes Sherlock, everyone likes Doctor Who. Not everyone likes Merlin, so that was my wild card. You got my wild card straight away. But 
Oh, I like them, so I told you about them. It's my vlog, so I do. Well, it's not my vlog, it's a channel, um, one day. But it doesn't matter, because you wanted to know, so I told you. I hope I haven't ruined anyone else's choices, because I can imagine at least one of, one of you probably wanted to say Doctor Who, and maybe Sherlock. Probably not Merlin. I like Merlin, though. So, sorry, you're going to have to pick something else, unless you want to elaborate or talk about your views. I mean, like, did you prefer David Tennant to Matt Smith? Do you have the same views as me? Did you like the stupid episodes? If so, I'm disappointed in you. Okay, it's the end of today. Goodbye. 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 Oh, no. I used to do this in primary school. I am 16 now. What am I doing? Meh. <laughs> Ugh. And now I'm stuck. I can reach it. Ugh.